Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Paste Special is a tool that Excel provides to you that allows you to cut or copy information and then paste only certain elements of the original selection to a new location. For example, you could copy a cell and then select to paste its value or its format only. You could also copy and paste values from cells and then perform mathematical operations as you paste the values to their new cell locations, adding, subtracting, or multiplying them with the values that already existed in the destination cell. By default in Excel, information is exclusive to individual worksheets. That means that if you copy data from one worksheet and paste it to another worksheet, any changes that you make to the original data will not be automatically reflected in the worksheet to which you had pasted the copy. Paste Special fixes this by allowing you to paste a link between the two cells so that when the original data is changed in the original worksheet, the new value will be passed to the linked cell in the second worksheet the next time it's opened. Using this feature also allows you to paste linked data cells between two completely separate workbooks. Now to use the paste special function, you begin by copying a cell as usual. Then select the destination cell. Now however, instead of directly clicking the paste button, you will click the paste button's drop down menu. At the top of the drop down menu that appears, you can see different options that you have for selecting what elements of the copied element you wish to paste to the new location. You could also just click the Paste Special command at the bottom of the drop-down menu to launch the Paste Special dialog box. Now in the Paste Special dialog box, you select the option button that represents the aspect of the copied element that you wish to paste in the Paste section at the top of this dialog box. Note that if you select the Values option, you can then also choose a mathematical operation from the Operation section to perform between the value that you're pasting and the value that currently exists in the cell to which you're pasting. So once you've made your selection, just click the OK button to paste your special content. Now when you invoke the Paste Special dialog box, you have several options as to what elements of the copied cells you wish to paste. So let's just take a moment to examine the options that are available when you're using the Paste Special dialog box. Now in the Paste section at the top of the dialog box, you can select All to paste everything that you copied. This is the same thing as simply clicking the Paste button directly instead of choosing Paste Special. Now you can select Formulas to paste the formula only. This is also the default behavior of a formula when you normally copy and paste, so it's rare to choose this option. Selecting values copies the current values displayed in the cell or cells that you copied, and this is useful for copying and pasting displayed values from formula cells. Also, you sometimes want to paste the value of one cell that you've copied onto the value displayed in another cell performing a selected mathematical operation between the two values. So if you select the values option, then you can select a destination cell into which to paste the copied value that has a pre-existing value in it and choose the mathematical operation to perform with the two values in the operation section. You can choose none to overwrite the destination cell's value with the copied value or you could also choose Add, Subtract, Multiply, or Divide to perform those calculations on the two values as well. Now back in the Paste section at the top, you can also select to paste the formats of the copied cell. This pastes only the formatting of the copied cells and will perform the same function that the Format Painter button performs. You can select Comments to copy cell comments from one cell to a new cell and you can select validation to copy cell validation rules from one cell to another cell. 
You can select all using source theme to paste all of the cell contents in the document theme formatting that is applied to the copied cells. You can choose all except borders and you'll paste all of the copied cells contents and formatting except for the borders. If you choose column widths, you'll paste the copied cells column width onto the selected cells column. You could also select formulas and number formats in order to paste only the cell formulas and the number formatting. You could choose values and number formats to paste only the cell values and the number formatting to the selected cell. Now starting in Excel 2010, you can also choose all merging conditional formats to copy conditional formatting and merge it with existing conditional formatting in the destination cell or cells. Note that you can also check the skip blanks checkbox to not replace cell data in the destination cells where there were blank values in the copied cells. Checking the transpose checkbox will switch the data in your columns to data that will display across rows and vice versa. So once again, after choosing your options, you would click the OK button to paste the copied data elements. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.